Each person's experience in a clinical trial is unique. Some individuals may experience risk, while others may not. Study teams are keeping a careful watch on how you are doing when you participate in a clinical trial. Examples of potential risk include side effects by the study drugs. The study team will review this when you are reviewing the informed consent form with them. For example, if there have been any previous studies with the medication and some risk have emerged, then you will be advised of this before you even begin your study with the drug. Also, during the course of the trial, each time you visit, or even if a risk or adverse effect arises and you need to let the study team know, then they are totally open and wanting to know about any side effects during the course of the trial. There are also potentially study procedure risks. For example, risk caused by procedures such as x-rays, CT scans, or blood collection. And then there are unknown risks. As the study drugs are still being researched, there may be risks that are not yet known that may arise. This is why the study medication is tested on animals before testing on humans. It's important to know that the testing on animals continues while we introduce these study medications to humans, so we have long-term information. That's also why it's important for you to communicate with your doctor about any side effects that you experience during a trial. Sometimes, a study medication may not improve your symptoms or put you in remission. This is why informed consent includes a line that says, there may not be any direct benefit to you from participating in a clinical trial, as researchers are still trying to determine if the trial drug will have any positive effects. Many trials have a placebo arm in the beginning of the trial so that researchers can more reliably determine the efficacy and safety of a drug by comparing it to a placebo. Most trials then allow all patients to continue with the study drug for the remaining duration of the trial. This is why clinical trials are so important. It's just as important to know when a study medication works and should become a standard of care versus when we should go back to the drawing board.